Hi, uh, my name is Alberto and uh, I'd like to show you uh, how to set up the communication between the PC and uh, these kind of batteries. Actually, uh, I tried to, to find some information on the internet, it was really difficult. So that's why I'm trying to do this video. The batteries are the uh, Pites uh, E-Box 48100R. I have two of them. And I'm trying to now to get information out of the batteries using uh, a cable and using the console input here. Okay. Okay, I want to just to show the steps that I did just to help someone that has the same issues here. So because it took a lot of time to, to get it uh, done. So first of all, I bought a cable this kind of cable here okay this you can see that i have it here this is the cable okay it's a cisco cable it's usb to rj45 cable so then the second thing that i have done i have installed in this in the uh, on the pc uh, software to be able to communicate you can use either putty or uh, teraterm and also I got in also a, a hyper terminal from the vendor, from the Pytus vendor, okay? So now I can show you how to set it up. So first of all, I connect the cable on the USB. Then you can hear that uh, it has been connected. Actually, you can see from the device, device manager that now we have a common serial cable here so everything is okay yes then i take the rj45 cable and i stick in to the console before i have switched off the connection between the batteries and the inverter then as I've done this, I start one of the, the software that I mentioned before. Like for example, I start putty. And then here I say serial communication. And then I set this. Uh, first of all, I set the communication here with the three and then 115, 200. Then here I set none. Those information I got from the vendor. And then I can show you from the vendor I got the software update information. And if I open how to get the update actually of the software, I didn't do yet this, but I will do it in another. Here they show how to use a hyper terminal, but it's the same with uh, Putty. And here we have all the information about the baud rate and everything that we need to set up. Okay. Now we can see here the common. If I open the port and then it's communicating, everything is okay. I didn't do anything yet. So we can see here and here actually I can set help to get all the commands in this particular setup, I'm able to, to, to perform, right? So in this case, I want to update the software. I will do an update also video later on, but now I want just to know which, in, which information, which software I'm running actually now on this particular battery. And then you can see now, you can see all the version and everything. Then I will sub uh, submit all, all this information to the vendor and I will get the software that I need to perform, they need to use to perform the update of the firmware. Okay. Thank you. I will post it this in YouTube. I hope it will help someone else because again, it took a lot of time to figure it out and now it's for someone else. Thank you so much.